Hey, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're out on site today. As you can see, we have foundation for a new project in the ground. We're somewhere in the Midwest. Um, hint, hint, I'm down here with my good friend, Jake Bruton. So that'll tell you a little bit about where we're at. Um, today's topic of discussion is water mitigation at the site. Now, one of the interesting things about where we're at not only do they have a building inspector that does plan reviews and comes out here, checks framing and wire inspector and all that stuff. They actually have a site coordinator management special inspector that comes out and makes sure that water is being mitigated in a successful approach on each and every job site. So their typical suggestion is that they want all of the ground to be sloping away from the building on all sides of the building. Now, that works really good when we're out in a prairie or out in a pasture somewhere, we build an elevated foundation, we slope it away, life is good. But when we're on a job site here where we have high ground on one side and water clearly moves down to the site, sloping it back is just gonna make a V. Now we can take that and move that around the corner, which we will, but we have a slightly better approach. And we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna discuss a few things, but before we do, I just want you to take notice. We have this rip rock here. This is in like a six, eight inch. These are really good size, very large rocks. So we have a whole bunch of this and I'm gonna to talk to you about how we use that. So if we come up here, we have our garage and then it drops down into a crawl space over here. Now, the crawl space is the space that we're really concerned with, right? I'm just gonna jump down here. We have this ground is making its way down towards the foundation. Now, we could certainly slope this away, but we're gonna end up with a V here that doesn't really get rid of the water, right? So our plan, we put our waterproofing on the wall. You can see it just below grade, comes up, and that's our 60 mil. And then here you can see we have a drainage mat. It's a dimple mat and it actually has a protective felt paper there. And you can see, also see it right there. Now, this wall is about four foot tall, about 16 inches below my feet, we have a six inch perforated pipe, basically a gutter pipe. And it extends the full length of this wall. It goes down around the front of the garage and down the hill. And it goes around the corner of the foundation here about three quarters of the way and makes daylight there. So in both instances, it's draining to daylight. Now, what we're trying to do here, not what we're trying, our what we are doing here is any water that comes down off of this hill basically goes through this three quarter inch stone. I call it a ground gutter. And it goes into that perforated pipe down below. And that perforated pipe goes around, takes the water away. Now, the building inspector or site plan inspector, he was good with that. But the one issue that he had was, well, what do you do on top? What stops the homeowner from doing planting bed or just doing something on the top here that is gonna challenge all of our efforts below grade? And so our solution was that six to eight inch rock, we're gonna come out about three feet. We're gonna finish, that's gonna be our finished grade material, grading material there. And it's gonna go the full length of this wall on the crawl space. And the idea is it's not gonna get covered. You can't grow plants in it. The homeowner's not gonna move it because it's all these large interlocking stones. And um, this homeowner actually knows better, but if they sold the house, nobody's gonna wanna come here and dig it up because their first question should be, well, why is all that stone there, right? And so having that large riprap stone in here, allows that water to come down the hill, go through that stone, down through the three quarter inch stone, into that three quarter inch, uh, or into that six inch pipe. We have our waterproofing and dimple mat there so the wall never gets challenged. Our crawl space stays free, dry, and clean down there, and the water is mitigated. 
Our site plan inspector is a happy camper. Our homeowner will be a happy camper. And Jake, the builder, and myself, well, we're happy campers because it's just another solution in the book. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. It's a little, uh, little different uh, water management strategy here, um, especially with that larger rock. Remember I said water management strategy. When you're dealing with water, it is all about management. And the strategy is that we give that water a path, right? Number one killer of buildings, water. We have to give it a place to go. It's gonna come down this hill. We gotta give it a route to get rid of it. So anyways, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Steve Basic Architect out here on site. Until next time, long live our buildings.